We're here at the convention with John Bigelow, president of New Jersey American Water. John, can you tell us today what is your message here at the convention? Uh, New Jersey American Water is here to uh, serve the water and wastewater needs of uh, the communities in New Jersey. It's a simple message, but an important one. Um, there's lots and uh, lots of effort that goes into delivering water into people's homes every day, although they don't realize it because they don't see those pipes under the ground and where the water comes from. But uh, we work very hard to do that and are here to help communities that need help and, of course, our customers. John, we hear a lot about conservation of water today. What can you share with us? Uh, water is a precious resource, and, and we communicate regularly with our customers to use water wisely, use what they need, make sure they fix leaks, uh, pay attention to those little things because they, they make an awful lot of difference. That leaking faucet can uh, not only cost you a lot of money but waste a very precious resource. Um, we share and have programs to help people focus on uh, their conservation and, and we manage our business in that way. We have uh, in our own environment and in our own business put in uh, electric panels, uh, solar panels to reduce our energy consumption. We have gas generators to help support the energy consumption. So uh, conservation is a part of what we do every day. I'm here on the floor with Harry Kleinkoff. Harry, can you tell us what, who you're here with and what you do? Yes, I'm from the Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness I'm from the state of New Jersey. And uh, we're here, we have an awareness program, um, Terrorism Awareness and Prevention. And uh, we offer it to anyone in the state of New Jersey. We also have a lot of training. We have uh, training for school uh, bus drivers or school personnel. Uh, we also provide uh, the terrorism awareness uh, course for the school teachers and uh, really in general for anybody. Uh, we also have uh, a lot of uh, interesting literature uh, that we pass out as we're doing here today. And I think our, our biggest promotion is our tip line. We have a one 866 for safe and J, that's our tip line. And uh, if people see anything that doesn't look right, please give us a call and we'll check it out. So all our materials do have our tip line on it. And, uh, and again, uh, we're promoting terrorism awareness and prevention. I'm here with John Eck of Digital Sign Guys. John, would you please tell us a little bit about your company? Sure, uh, Digital Sign Guys is a uh, group of people who I've organized to change the advertising industry. We actually have a network of indoor digital billboards located throughout the Delaware Valley. We have over 65 screens and what we do is we place these screens into high traffic, high profile businesses like country clubs, health clubs, you'll see them in uh, hockey rinks and bowling alleys, places where families and pe places where people are and uh, they get an opportunity to see advertising that we place onto the screens. We now have uh, changed advertising from print to digital, and that's really what the Digital Sign Guys are all about. We also uh, have our own sister company called Digital Expressions, which does all the creative content for the screens. Um, our partnership with people like Sprint allows us to take these digital media creations and send them through the internet onto the screens. I'm here with Nick Tomorrow. He's with DARE of New Jersey. Now, Nick, can you please tell us a little bit about DARE and what you're doing here? Yes, DARE is the largest drug and violence prevention program in the New Jersey school systems today. And uh, we're here to promote uh, our program and answer any questions that any uh, municipal officials have about DARE and what kind of services we offer to them. At the conference, we're announcing our toy drive which is uh, where we uh, get donated toys and we're going to distribute to needy children throughout the state for this holiday season. And we're also uh, promoting our new curricula and new programming and uh, safe schools initiatives. We're here with Terry Dearden. She's with the New Jersey Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. Terry, could you please tell us what you're doing here today at the conference? I'm here today to make everybody aware of all the veterans and the soldiers and what the state has to offer for all our soldiers, our deployed soldiers, our veterans, um, and what we do for the state of New Jersey. Not only are we doing in-state things like the hurricane, uh, we're also deployed, we're in Iraq, we're in Afghanistan, and um, you know we're working on the global war on terrorism. So just to make everyone aware of what we're doing and what we have to offer. I'm here on the floor with representatives from the Burlington County Bridge Commission, Gary Lavenia and Clara Rivolo. I basically deal with pooled lendings for local government entities, uh, school districts, municipalities, 
fire districts, um, municipal utility authorities. Uh, I, I deal with providing uh, economic development assistance, redevelopment assistance, as well as um, helping municipalities who might want to be uh, looking to have the ability to write grants. We have a grants writer that we work with. We provide that. So we're out in the community uh, advising on economic development. We work uh, very strongly on redevelopment, especially in the Route 130 Carter. And uh, we do a lot of pooled lendings, both pooled leases and pooled loans for governmental entities. And that's what I do. Thank you. And Clara, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? The uh, Burlington County Bridge Commission has been uh, very uh, far-sighted in uh, developing this nature park. It's a 250-acre park right on the Delaware River, just south of the uh, Tacony Palmyra Bridge. We um, have wetlands and woodlands, and we focus on environmental education for elementary school children. We um, also are a very important birding site because we are right on the Mid-Atlantic Flyway for bird migration. So over 215 different species of birds have been identified over a 12-month period at the, at the park. We're a special urban park.